Hello, hello, hello to all of my Cancers. Happy Midweek Wednesday to each and every one of you all. It may be still Tuesday, but this reading is dated for the 10th of May through the 10th of June. If you have not had an opportunity, Cancers, to go back and watch Sunday's video, every Sunday there are questions and to prepare you for the upcoming moon phase, right? So we're coming up on the last quarter moon phase in Aquarius on Friday. So those questions are going to help you prepare for that, right? So we're already feeling the effects of it. Stay laser focused so that you can finish out and close out this cycle strong. You in particular as a, as a water sign in Aquarius moon accentuates your imaginative, clairvoyant uh, qualities. You have a unique talent for self-expression. So this is going to be a real good time for you all to really express yourselves in very innovative uh, ways. We know that Pluto and Mercury are retrograde, so it gives you an opportunity to slow down and catch those messages and start the purging process. That's Pluto. Pluto wants to make sure to get all that negative, unhealthy, wounded emotions out of your universe. And if there's any cycles you need to close out that's still connecting you to those things, any pictures, letters, text messages, emails, anything that you need to get rid of, no matter how long ago it was and it saw that you saw a person or talked to a person, if you need to close those cycles out, don't let it, you know, don't let it distract you from what you've been thanking source for in advance or praying to source for in advance or waiting for like the blessings you've been waiting for. You got to make room. You got to make room. You got to take some kind of action. All right, let's go. Cancers. I am talking to you. If you have cancer anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your chart, including your MC or IC cancers. Let's go. All right. Again, happy midweek Wednesday. All right, here we have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Emperor card, the World card, and also the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so here we have the World card and the Emperor card, right? So Source is saying take a more authoritative um, more author authoritative approach to closing out cycles, airtight. Airtight meaning it's over, it's done with, um, and I'm moving on, right? And um, and so you're you're going to... <clears throat> if you haven't already met someone who is a, who is, okay, let me first say this, because there's a lot of wealth in your cards. We're going to get to the two of pentacles in a second. This is how people see you, Cancer. People see you as this person sitting on your throne. You are, they want to be, people want to be connected to you. Even people that you've closed out cycles airtight, they still want to be connected to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You know how a person can love you and just, it's like a thin line between love and hate. They may not understand you. Your light may irritate their demons. It's just all kinds of stuff. But you've gotten to a place where you don't need the bullying, the somebody who can't, people who cannot control their emotions. You, you're really, somebody is real serious about taking some kind of authoritative measures to protect their water, protect their emotions. And because, <clears throat> you know, there are some energies that you've been around that you get mad around real quick. You get frustrated with them real quick. It's their energy projecting into your water. So if you're around people who you just, you you feel like, okay, I can't be around them for too long because I start getting upset. I start getting irritated. You know, I start, you know, thinking real toxic thoughts. Those are the energies that you need to get as far away from. Because what Source is saying is that I'm, Source is trying to increase your legacy, Right. And, and, and there's a lot of money attached to this. So this is how people see you. You can't have any hotheads around you. People who can't control their emotions, people who are jealous of you, people who are envious. Doesn't matter if it's in your personal life, family life, friendships. Doesn't matter if it's in people that you used to work with. So it's like you cannot have that energy around you. You need cool, calm, collected energies around you. People who are, they see your value. They see your worth, right? They see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as an asset to their lives. So sources like you cannot have those energies around you. That's just like, and not only that, somebody is going to be doing it, their legacy with another person, right? There's another person involved here. Um, could be love interest, you know, for you all. But um, this is nice. You're moving towards financial independence. So you have the nine of pentacles, the nine of wands, the hangman, the 10 of cups. You also have the hermit card and also the 10 of swords. So you're definitely in a rebirth. There's been a lot of things that's been said about you behind your back. A lot of hurtful things that have been said, a lot of smear campaigns, a lot of projection. You left a lot of people behind and you're saying, I need to move on. I've already been through a storm. I've already been through the fire. I've seen the highs and lows in situations. 
I've been burned out. I've been inspired one day. I'm burned out by the next. I weighed the pros and cons. I'm on the other side of it. I'm just kind of in, you know, thinking mode. Okay. Let me close it out airtight. So that's where somebody is. And somebody is saying, I'm just going through the purging process. Remember, Pluto is retrograde. Pluto is helping somebody really wipe the slate clean, like really clean of all the negativity around you. Here we have the um, hermit card. Somebody has said, I can do I can do bad by myself. I don't need to be around energies where I, my, I'm short circuited. I, I, my water is evaporating fast because I'm getting hot around. It's like turning up the turning up the burner, you know, and so your water is boiling hot. I don't need to be around those types of energy because I'm reflecting who they are. They can't control their emotions. They're always in fight mode, always getting riled up easily. I can't be around those emotions. My legacy is at stake here and I don't want to burn through my own wealth. So here we have the nine of pentacles. This is financial independence. And so source is trying to get somebody's uh, soul circle together, your soul tribe, your soul family, your soul circle, like trying to get you in harmony and peace with yourself so that no matter how um, how much you may not have been nurtured in your childhood, as an adult, you're saying, I'm nurturing my inner child. I got it from here. I will be nurturing my inner child. So here we have the half, I mean, the, the hangman. Source is saying to you, hang in there with yourselves. Just hang in there with yours, yourselves. You're, you've already made a decision to close out a cycle airtight. And so um, you have, like I said, fresh water around you that's going to keep you help keep you nurtured. That's going to help keep you nurtured. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Here we have the Princess of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. We also have the King of Wands, Six of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and also the King of Cups. King of Cups is like king of your emotions, like a person who has... Um, who can control their emotions. And so this the reason why you, you got the, the the way that you got to the King of uh, Cups is through trial and error. That's why you had to go through this nine of wands. Like you had to go through, you know, you know, uh, sifting through or learning how to discern which spirits inspire me and which spirits are trying to bully me and wear me out and drain me one day i'm clear about where we stand the next minute i'm not clear that's frustrating that evaporates your water too quickly cancer so again while you may be disappointed you're still you know and they may be disappointed and heartbroken you're still moving on you're like i'm, I'm focusing on my healing i'm not you know some people you may hear about how they talked about you behind your back because you're such a highly intuitive sign, you're the mother and money sign of the Zodiac, plus you're highly intuitive, you're um, empathic signs. You all may have heard indirectly what people were saying. You know how sometimes people will tell you that they talked to people that was talking about you, but they they trying to like sugarcoat it a little bit. And you're like, how do they even know about this situation? Because people have been talking, right? So bottom line is that you can justify moving on without certain energies and you will be booked and busy, not burdened and bitter at all. Booked and busy, booked and busy. So when I do see you being victorious, you're victoriously moving on from something and, you know, feeling good. Here we have King of Wands. This is King of Ideas. So like I said, you got a lot of wealth coming your way. We have the Princes of Pentacles, more money coming your way, Cancer. So good deal here. I mean, for real, this is a really, really good deal, you know, for you all. Because again, you had to go through the highs and lows of some relationships in your life. Um, and just to, you know, make a decision. I need to go ahead and close out some things. I, I really need to close out some things because when I think about, when you think about how nice of a person you are and you remember, hmm, my mother, my father, like all of these influences growing up. This is what the lunar eclipse was about. Your family, your ancestral, and your childhood. All of these influences that I had growing up. I know I'm a sweetheart. I know I'm empathic. I know I'm a human lie detector. I know I'm, um, I know I'm a very nurturing person. But what energies on my, that started me off when I really think back cause me to get upset? Was it bullying? Did you have a parent that was a bully and you cried a lot? Or, you know, did you feel some kind of resentment towards people? You know, now that you're older, people in your family, like some of the elders, the aunts and uncles, did you feel some kind of resentment? Did you remember crying a lot No, and you didn't feel protected? Like, what was it? So somebody is starting to learn where all of some stuff started from. 
Somebody is really starting to, it's starting to make sense to somebody. Congratulations, Cancer. Like I said, you earned it. You took the time to sit down and really think about it and decide I, there's some things I need to purge and there's some people along with it that I need to purge, right? Especially if you felt unprotected. If you felt unprotected and very vulnerable in your own childhood, you're committed to making sure your inner child never feels vulnerable and unprotected again. Knight of Wands. We have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Wands again, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, and also the Seven of Coins. So Nine of Wands came out twice. When somebody thinks about all the highs and lows they went through in their lives, especially while your solar plexus chakras were being aligned, when your solar plexus chakras were being developed between the ages of 15 and 21, somebody was like, man, I came out, I came through some stuff between the ages of 15 and 21. Now I know exactly why when I get around certain types of energies, why I feel why I feel the way that I do, why I start sweating, why I start having knots in my stomach. Why, you know, I may start having digestive issues, you know, where it, it just makes me sick. I feel low self-esteem. I feel indecisive when I'm around certain energies. I feel constant confusion. I feel tired, like chronic fatigue. Now it's starting to make sense where that started, where it came from. So you're using that same fire to put up under your purpose. So that's going to keep you feeling motivated, mental clarity, charismatic, energized, confident, feeling personally powerful when you do it and feeling like you can levitate. So here we have the Ace of Cups. Source really wants somebody to focus on protecting your gifts, like really focus on protecting your gifts. Here we have the Six of Cups, and this is where you're moving on, childlike faith, childlike faith. Here we have the Seven of Coins, and again, somebody is planting seeds for more wealth. You know, you want more people around you that's inspiring you, that's helping you through your journey. Here we have the Knight of Wands. And so this is where Source is saying, stay as far away from those types of energies as possible. A lot of times we just got to learn through trial and error. And, and, and when you piece it together, like where, where did all of this come from? Like, why has it been so confusing? But when you take it all the way back to where your, your lower chakras are being developed and you pinpoint where it started and you connect those same, those similar energies in your adult life, it's like, oh my God, like a bell went off. Ding. Okay. That's what it was. Now I understand when I'm around certain energies, why I feel drained and confused and this, that you're picking up on those same energies that you experience in your younger days. Here we have the page of wands. So source is definitely cooking up something major for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations for you all being so brilliant and, you know, piecing everything together and making things make sense. So again, no obstacles in your way. When I tell you that God is doing a clear, I mean, like a, a, a major cleansing, a purging of all toxins, you know, in your spirit and everything that's connected to it, it's going to feel very uncomfortable for some people that no longer have access to you anymore. They may even say they cut you off, but either way, guess what? They not a problem anymore. They may even say, oh, I would never talk to cancer again because cancer did this to me and cancer did that to me. Your ancestors said, no, nah. you, you spoke. See, some people, they don't even realize what they're speaking into existence. Some people don't even realize what they're speaking into existence. Here we have the High Priestess, the Tower card, the Magician card, the Page of Cups, the Sword card, and the Ten of Swords again. Ten of Swords came out twice, but guess what? Despite being like this at one point, depressed, didn't want to get out of the bed, feeling like you're sick to your stomach, headache, everything, you're still standing even with all these sword wounds that's been pulled out of your back. You're still standing. That's all the, the talking about you behind your back and all the lies and the people spinning stories and however way. It was meant for none of them. The people who didn't protect you, the people who stood by and listened to people, you know, just left you vulnerable when you were a child. I mean, just all of that. So it's just like it has been a nightmare for somebody. When I tell you the, the books that people can write from these stories and the podcasts and the channels you can create to help people from just talking about what you went through, you don't have to name any of their names. None of their names at all. Here we have the magician card. Clear messages are coming through, right? And I know that because somebody is in hermit mode while these messages are coming through. And every time you think about it, cancer, you think like, wow, I'm whole and complete without these people. I thought I needed certain people in my life for me to be successful in my childhood as well as my life right now, possibly in business, love relationships or whatever. But now I know exactly why I feel certain ways around certain spirits. Same spirit, different body, different time. 
right? Time is relative. You're starting to piece everything together, Cancer. So you're having a tower moment, but so are they. They realize that you have completely X'd them out of your life, completely. Here we have the High Priestess and also the Page of Cups. So this Page of Cups is like fresh water coming across your path. And so don't forget to do your juice fast. Don't forget to drink more water. Don't forget to, you know, be near bodies of water. Take your spiritual shower, spiritual baths, whatever you need to do to replenish the water. That's the, the emotions you poured out through tears, through working out in sweat, through, you know, all kinds of things. Some people may even notice that they're waking up sweating, you know. That's God's way of just getting it all out of your spirit, right? You may have even at one point been really, really sick. You may have felt like you had food poison. That was God's way of saying, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm like, your body is starting to reject their energy. It's like, I don't need it anymore. It's not good for me. So it comes out through, you know, through vomit, through regurgitation. It's like, okay, it's like violently coming out. You may have thought it was food poison or you may have thought it was, you know, something else, but God was like, no, this energy I'm trying to, they don't, you don't need their energy anymore. They don't mean you any harm. They're poisonous to your system. So here we have the high priestess. Your intuition is extremely heightened. When I tell you somebody coming through this full purge is going to feel like, oh my God, I literally feel like I can levitate because I'm picking up on things so quickly. You'll feel like you took some kind of a pill, but you haven't. It's, it's just God is like cleansing and purging. Somebody's gifts are becoming stronger and stronger and stronger by the day. So congratulations to you all. Let's get ready to close it out. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are still standing. All those swords have been pulled out of your back. Sources like despite all the stuff that was said about you, the exes that lied on you, the everything. So like I said before, the nightmare really, really is over, but you had to go through it to understand that you're better off without it actually. So that's what somebody is learning is that they're better off without nightmare energy in their lives. Here we have 21. 21, I am inspiring, right? You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything that you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. So like I said before, 21 reduces to three. That means you're taking the experiences from your past, but you're optimistically moving forward, right? Leaving all of that stuff behind. Some people are, it, it's becoming obvious to some people that you're closing them out of some things that you're saying, you know what? I, I'm, I'm whole and complete without your drama, without your bullying, without the uh, mental confusion. You know, one day you're warming up and I'm the kindest person, sweetest person in the world. The next day you're attacking me and I'm not sure what the heck is happening here. I don't like confusion. I like clear water. I don't like chaos and confusion. So you're, it's, it's becoming aware, you're becoming keenly aware in the workplace and in your personal life, what works for you and what doesn't work for you. If you're hearing somebody talking, you know, talking negatively about other people behind their back and their, you know, people that they say are their friends and that kind of stuff, you're like, mm, I got to steer clear of that energy because if they're talking about people they consider their friends, what the heck are they saying about me? So somebody is really awakening to, you know, like when you, when you've had so many toxins in your water between the ages of zero and 21 it's really, really kind of that during those those years where things were, those chakras were being uh, developed. It's really hard to kind of pinpoint because you're out here trying to work jobs. Some of you people are taking care of family. Some people are got other stuff they're trying to sift through. It's not the easiest. That's why it's so important to be gentle with yourself and to spend some time by yourself just kind of sifting through things, flushing out those toxins in your water, because it's also going to make room for more creativity to come through. If you want to creatively, you know, some ideas to make some more money, those ideas will come through very clear because you don't have those distractions, you know, in your path. So congratulations to you all. Let's see what else we got going on here and let's get ready to close it out. Um, affirmation card. Affirmation card again. Happy midweek Wednesday. Like I said, you all are passing the test. You're passing these tests with flying colors. You're passing these tests. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Success. There we go. 
I am attracting everything that I need. This is what you all can say to yourselves. These are affirmations for success. I am attracting everything that I need. I am, I am full of highly profitable ideas. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will be for me, will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. Yep, that is what I have for you, Cancers. You all are doing a superb job. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your vibrations very, very high as God is taking, sending these messages through your water. Slow down, take some time and catch the messages because Source is sending messages through the planet Mercury. And so you have to slow down since planets don't slow down and move backwards, sending the messages through Mercury and then also through Pluto. God is also sending messages of what you need to purge right? Anything that, like I said, in this reading, again, only take what resonates with you. Source is saying to you, you can do without the nightmare of people being in your life. Certain people in your life, you can do without the nightmare. Don't go into business with them. Don't befriend them. Certainly don't get into a romantic relationship with them. You know, you don't want any connection with them at all. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Freedom Friday. Bye.